What is going on guys welcome back to another video of shorts application development series in android studio in last video we have successfully displayed all the videos in a view pager so that we can swipe up and also we can pause and play the video so in this way we will add the user view where we will have profile picture and also the username and also the caption over here so let's get back to the project let's go to the layout that we have created video item raw here what we will do we'll minimize this and below this we'll add a linear layout width will be match parent height will be wrap content gravity will be center and parent bottom will be true let's give margin also 16 dp and inside this linear layout we'll add items so first item will be image view let's say 48 dp 48 dp id will be profile icon and source for now will be let's say color black so let it be and after this we'll add a linear layout match parent wrap content and here we will add margin start will be 4 dp orientation will be vertical so that we can add two items over here one is text view match parent wrap content text will be username so let's add tools text for now that will be let's say username you can see over here let's say text color will be white id will be username username view text size will be 24 sp and give the text style as bold so we have this username view let's copy this and add the caption view below so it will be caption view decrease the text size 616 sp and tools text will be hey this is first video anything it can be it will be the caption let's give margin start at 8 dp 4 dp is enough we'll make this image view circle from runtime this is our video view as well as this caption and this view you can add progress bar as well because when video is loading we can show the progress bar over here so for that what we will do here i will add progress bar wrap content wrap content center in parent will be true it will be shown over here and id will be progress bar so this will be the progress bar let's go to video list adapter and in the inner class we have this bind video play pause first thing we will do is bind user data so how we'll get the user data if you see on video model we have this uploader id so from this uploader id we'll get the details of the user from user collection from here we have the id of the user from here we will get all the details so for that we will use first firebase dot firestore dot collection user collection that is users collection users collection dot document id will be video model dot uploader id dot get dot add on success listener so here we will get the user how we'll do that user model it dot to object user model class dot java so in this we will get the data from fire store we'll convert it to user model and if user model is there apply what we will do binding dot username view dot text is equal to username we have bind the user data we'll bind the profile over here because we have not implemented profile pic and here we will do binding dot caption view dot text is equal to video model dot video model dot title we are putting caption as title so in this way we will get the caption as well as the user let's do for progress bar so first what we will do when we come to this bind binding dot progress bar will be visible progress bar dot visibility it will be visible at first so when set on prepared listener is called first thing we will do is this will be gone so progress bar will be gone that's it whenever we load the video it will be visible whenever we have already loaded the video it will be gone and username we have bind we have bind caption view as well if you run now we have this username we have the caption and we have the image view over here later we will add the profile picture and progress bar is working if you load another video progress bar is visible so you can see over here we'll add profile picture we have the username and we have the caption so for profile picture what we will do uh, use glide dot width we will add it to binding dot profile icon dot load what we will load we will load the profile pic from this user model dot circle crop we will circle crop dot into we'll add it to profile icon so it will get the url from the profile pic from user model and it will put into profile icon so if it is not there what we will do apply here request options 
we can use the placeholder that means if photo is not available we can use a drawable that is profile icon profile if photo is not there it will get this profile if photo is there then it will load the photo let's test it since no photo is there that's why it is empty if we upload photo then it will come so in this video we have successfully added the user details over here so in next video we will create a profile screen if you click on profile we have to create one activity that will be a profile activity where we can add the profile picture as well as we can see all the videos we have uploaded and if somebody click on this user it will go to the profile view and we can follow and unfollow from there so if you enjoyed this video please hit the like button if you have any doubts and queries please comment below i will reply for you don't forget to hit the subscribe button before going see you in the next video bye bye